right, governors? Okay. I don't actually talk like that, but it's the London heist. So there's my unreal English accent. It's fucking authentic. And today we're going to be playing Shot in the Dark with lasers first of all. Maybe we'll do without lasers afterwards for hardcore mode. But just to show it off right now, we'll do some with lasers, which is much easier. I don't know how this looks in the video, but I'm having a lot of fun just like headbutting these shell casings as they fall. Put a bit of force into that one. Okay. You can only shoot the targets that lie out. So don't waste me ammo. So I can't shoot the blue guys, as Mickey has eloquently written down here, what you don't shoot. And was not meant to be thrown like that, but there we go. Okay, so I've noticed when I've watched Come videos like this that you don't see as much as I see. So when I'm aiming like this, you probably don't see the magazines in the table. But I'll look down there, there they are. I'm going to be slamming my guns down like that. And that's how it starts. Accuracy is key for bonus points. See my multiplier here. That's why you need 3D audio for this as well because I can hear them popping up on my left and my right. Can't shoot him. What you don't shoot. stairs that I shot earlier on by the way, they're for like a bonus round if you hit them all at the very end. Oh, I fucked that up. This part, so that fucking duck. Keep it up. There we go. That's good. One fourteen. It's a decent score. I think my best this week, though, is oh, I total one twenty-five. Because my actually in time bonus. So where does that put me? Thirty-four. That's just this week, though. Let's see where that puts me in all time. Best ever. 133. Okay. So I'm 35th in the world, which I think is not bad at all. <laughs> so we'll try it without the lasers. It's going to be a lot harder. I'm not going to get nearly a good a score. But we'll see. I actually started playing without the lasers, and that makes you much better when you do play with the lasers. But yeah, this VR Worlds thing is worth it for the London Heist, and the London Heist is worth it just for this shooting range thing. Even though it's small, there's only four of them. Well, ace, but half of them are just like duplicates without the lasers, you know? But they're a lot, a lot of fun. Very addictive. Let's see, I think I'm missing all those delicate parts that are worth more. Gotcha. Shit. 
shit. Uh uh. Cheeky breaky. Keep my accuracy up as well. If I can get them in one shot, that's much better. Shit. Missed the crotch shot. Jesus, that was close. so much better you gotta keep that pink can up as long as you can so uh, well we'll see how average it was Mickey 99th so my overall is 251 my best score here is 45,000 but yeah this is one of those mods that you can just get addicted to and like keep practicing over and over again I haven't played this in a couple of weeks well not weeks but you know a week we'll say so a little bit rusty some some fresh blood has been climbing the ranks and taking my place I was 10th in the world I can't remember if it was this one or with the laser sight but yeah so yeah there's an idea of the shooting range I recommend it if you pick up PSVR even though a lot of people are complaining about the price of the VR thing itself, like the VR Worlds, how it's 40 euro. I don't think any of the other games on it are worth it, but London Heist, I think, is. That's just a shame it's not a bit longer. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>